It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Every listener feels like their favorite podcast is speaking just to them. If you're a marketer, your brand's message can do the same. With podcasts ranking number one against all other media for good use of time, good for learning, and mentally engaging, podcast ads are proven to be one of the most effective marketing channels. Have your brand heard everywhere with Acast. Our podcasts are available on all apps, and the only way to reach their listeners is through Acast. Visit go.acast.com slash ads to get started today. We're alive. Gold Rush. Chapter 6 Multi Chambered. Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Wayland. Previously on We're Alive, Gold Rush. Oh, shit! Guys, we came here as soldiers, we leave as kings. Sandstorm, move, move, hurry! Someone's out there. <coughs> Turn around and walk towards the town. So you live below the town? In a manner of speaking, we just have to get there first. Let me get this straight. After finding a billion dollars in gold, you just happen to meet this super famous celebrity and she takes you down to her enhanced Cold War missile silo? Is that about right? Yeah, that sums it up, yes. And you just happen to not have those specific tapes? No, I do not. Those were left behind. Now hold on a second. We're here. Where's here? Doesn't look familiar? Should it? Lake Matthews. This is where I grew up? The dust makes it look like hell. It ain't normally this bad. At least I can breathe now. You good, sir? You need anything? There's a box for me of supply. You mind bringing it over to billeting? Not a problem, sir. Thank you. We're staying here? For a little while. Come on. So that place, the Atlas, we stayed there a little while, too. Oh, really? You have no idea. That place, it was kind of magical. Welcome to my home, the Atlas. What is this place? Secure, remote, self-sustaining. In a word, perfect. This seems a little too big to just be an Atlas silo. Technically, it's a Titan missile squadron. There's several connected silos that we changed over. We? Well, my mom bought this place in 92. That's when she started refurbishing it and adding on. This has been here that long and no one knew about it? We made sure the Atlas was kept a family secret. It's not on any maps. Anyone who helped build it, well, they were very loyal. The A in Atlas, that's the same style as the Anderson Films logo. Well, exactly why she named it that way. Oh, she loved this place. And when she died in 04, I sort of took it over. I updated the technology, expanded it, and then I made my own additions. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god. You smell that? No way. It's like I'm back home in good old New York. It's not just any home. This is just like the set from your sitcom, right? The exact one. Oh, I bought it and had it shipped here after we went off the air. It feels real. It's meant to. I had set designer friends help engineer it. They had to make some changes. You added this fourth wall? Well, yeah, obviously. Because you'd never want to break it. Get it? <laughs> no? All of this works. Well, that was the point. Oh, you even got Monica's room? Yeah, and a balcony, but uh, that's a little more disappointing. Nothing's out there. So what, you just hang out in here? Sometimes. I guess it depends on the day. 
So where do the other girls live? Yeah, who are they? Well, Rhonda and Anita. I don't think they're in this sector. Wait, sector? Well, groups of rooms. W whatever. We got a little bit of everything. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, shit. Holy mackerel! Oh, well, actually, that's a yellow tang. Yeah, idiot. It's obviously a yellow tang. You just have a room that's an aquarium? There's so many fish! Is this because you were in Blue Aquatic? No, it's because I have a fish guy, and watching them is therapeutic. Oh, yeah! You did that commercial for uh, Reef Systems. That was pretty weird. What can I say? Sometimes you just gotta hook your uncle up. He helped build all this. It's actually part of the hydroponic system, too. Everything here has a function. How many rooms you got in this place? 99. Plus or minus maybe a bathroom or closet. No, 98 now. We had a water leak, lost Christmas Revenge too, a month back. Oh yeah, I forgot about that movie. That was an, uh, an interesting one. Mm-hmm, yeah, well the movie and the room were cursed. This way, we have to get through a few more to get to the hub. You have like a pool room? The swimming kind and the bar kind. TV room? Got a THX theater at the bottom level of Silo E. This, this is unbelievable, okay? Like, we died, right? We died in town, and, and this is it, the afterlife? I have a hard time believing it. Yeah, so do I. See, this is one of the many reasons why we did not tell anyone else this story. They'd think you were crazy. Exactly. Here, this is our room. Jeez. Officers get all the swanky stuff. There's shittier places down the hall if you want. This my room? Yeah. I'll take this one, but don't unpack. We're leaving first thing in the morning. Sir, here's the box. Oh, yeah. Just put it on the kitchen table, thank you. What time are we leaving tomorrow? Eh, make it eight. I'll let the others know, sir. There should be some food in the fridge if you're hungry. What's in the box? Stuff your mom left behind. It's what? Why the hell do you have it? Hey, don't get pissy with me. All right, it's yours. Jeez. You think I want this stuff? But you're going through it. Well, these are mine. More tapes? And guess what's on them? My mom had tapes too? Like I said, some stuff got left behind. Oh. Who's this other girl with my mom? Her sister, Anita. I didn't know she had a sister. She did. You just have a room that's an aquarium? Oh, so many fish. look at Is that. The Atlas. With all the rooms. No way. You weren't kidding. No, not about any of it. Stick around long enough, I might give you your own codes. That would be cool. OK, so first room. You like baseball? Got some batting cages. I do a little. Hell yeah, give me a bat. I'm gonna hit a home run. Will you know? Oh. Vintage 80s arcade. Aw, oh, shit, it's on like Donkey Kong. Okay, but you better not beat my high score. That won't be a problem. And last on our stop on this level is the bar. Play a lot of pool? Well, not really, unless you play. Well, I could. Why so many rooms? I mean, why not? No, that was my thought. Something for whatever I'm in the mood for. Ever in the mood for something Western? Uh, what, you got like a thing for Westerns? No, no, not like that. It's, we're, we're, we're filming this little movie, and we've been doing it for a while, and it's kind of like a, like a Western zombie style. Okay, okay, so, I'm sorry, let me just get this straight. So you're filming a movie about a zombie apocalypse. Now. That's exactly what I said. Shut up, Coral. Look, it's just something fun that we're Sure, doing. of course, that's cute. Okay, so then you're in luck, because I have the whole backdrop from Forgiven. No way! I'd love to see that one. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we got a little of everything here. But why build any of this here, underground? You know something no one else did? No, no, I had no idea. Well, matter of fact, some rooms I was planning were never finished. But it didn't stop me from being prepared. So you're like one of those preppers. Just minus the neck beard. You should see me before I wax. <laughs> okay, where are we going next, Sasquatch? The hub. If you ever get lost, this is where you can find yourself. There's a map with the different room sections, but they all connect here. 
Oh, wow. This must have cost a small and large fortune. There's no way you built this not expecting something to come. To be honest, given the state of the world, it was just a matter of time. But, don't get me wrong, I still used this place all the time before. It was my getaway. I had to travel a lot for work, but really, I'm more of a homebody. And it's just been the three of you since... The last day. Pretty much. Only go outside if I have to. You're just lucky I had to clear a clogged air filter at the tunnel intake. Yeah, well, I mean, we would have never crashed if it wasn't for the wind. I'm telling you. Fate. Fate, right. So where does that leave us? I'm figuring that out. Never had visitors before. What do you think? You just passing through? I don't know what I think anymore. You have a freaking elevator? Rhonda, Anita, meet Puck, Carl, Robbins, and Muldoon. Oh boy. People! He's the soldiers from Boulder? Joy. You gonna make everything worse here from now on too? Uh, Rhonda doesn't have much of a filter. Yeah. Well, hi. I'm Anita, and this is my sister, Rhonda. They're clean, right? Not infected, no. Nope. Clean. Come here, all of you! Wow. Anita. Hi. Anita. Well done. Anita. Fuck. Or just Sam. Anita. Hi. Yes, this is Anita. You checked them, right? Feel free to poke around if you want to, lady. Mm, thank you. I'll pass. Okay. Well, offer's there. Um, Gloria, are they eating too? I, I just didn't make enough for everybody. Okay, well, I'm sure that you can just throw something together. Maybe even something special for breakfast. Oh, yeah, perfect. Oh, that sounds great. I'm really wasting away. <laughs> you couldn't make enough for Robins anyway. I eat normal-sized portions, all right? Does that mean they're staying? Yeah, about that. You mind if we chat first? I mean, this is all going real fast. We need to, like, you know. Totally understand. Feel free to use the bar. No cameras in there if you want privacy. Yeah, and it would give me a little more time to prepare some food for you guys. Sure, take all the time you need. Uh, we'll, we'll just be in here then. Yeah, I have some things to do too. Our food is in Sector 3. Just take the stairs down. It's on the north end. Well, I look forward to meeting you all more later. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> so you're just gonna let us wander around on our own? Do I have any reason not to? Just don't go past the last room in each sector. Stop before any red door. Why? The countermeasures. To the bar? To the bar! To the bar. To the bar. Yeah. Some drink. This place is kind of a How I Met Your Other vibe. I'd be surprised if it wasn't the actual set. Hey, guys. This is crazy, right? Dude, this place is perfect. All right, what are we doing here? Seriously, what about the stuff? You think that this room is actually bugged? She said it wasn't. Yeah, hey, go in the corner. One second. Out Falcon standing. Thank you. All right, no, the music. In case someone's listening. Clever girl. So this sort of changes things, doesn't it? Exactly. So we go back for the gold or not? Look around you. You think we need that anymore? Yeah, Carl. Weren't you the one going on and on about how the gold could be worthless? And how we couldn't really buy anything? Okay, well, right now you can't, but in time you might be able hey, to. Hey, look at everything they already have. There's a food sector, Carl. An entire sector, however big that is, probably massive, dedicated to eating. Do you understand me? Not to mention three very pretty girls. It's perfect. Hello? There's four of us. One, two, three, four. That's assuming that they're interested at all. They haven't seen anyone else alive in how long? So even you might have a chance. Absolutely! Wait, what are you saying? That we're not going back? Nobody's saying that. Not even Gloria. We're getting ahead of ourselves. This might only just be breakfast. And if longer, why not? You think the colony could even compare to this place? Hey, look. It's perfect. Unless it's a setup. And they're just all black widows trying to lure us in and kill us. Gloria Anderson is a black widow? Right. Hey, you said it. Celebrities can be into some freaky shit. Look, this place is one thing. But what about Michael? And everyone else at the colony? What about them? 
Listen, like we talked about, for their safety and ours, we probably shouldn't mention where we came from exactly. You, of course. More lies? Really? Look, just say you were from Boulder. I mean, that's true, right? Yeah, I guess so. We met at Irwin and scattered before the bomb went off? Also true. And we don't know what we're doing yet. Maybe we'll just wait for the storm to pass, get the truck, and go home. And that doesn't mean we can't enjoy ourselves for now. We got time. We need it. Yeah, like a vacation. Whatever way you need to look at it. Ugh. We good here? Because I don't know what they're preparing down there, but I am hella excited. Carl, you cool? Yeah, all right. Finally. Now let's go eat. Damn it, scratch. All right, all right, I'm coming. Wait, wait for me. So, what do you think? I don't know. I just have a hard time believing that they're even soldiers. They act like jackasses. Wait, you think they're lying about who they are? No, they probably are, but uh, I don't know. Seems kind of like you'd rather have them leave. You obviously seem to like that they're here. Well, it's new and exciting. How can you not? Because we need to be careful. You don't know who any of these people are. Well, then we find out. Maybe. What are you so worried about? Increased septic deposits, for one? You know what I mean. Okay. You. Me. Bunch of guys show up and you get all excited. Next, you're going to flounder and forget everything else. Well, I'm not going to flounder. Sammy Phillips, 12th grade, all over again. Please, that was a long time ago. I know what I'm doing. If you say so. Watch, pretty soon, I won't even see you anymore. I get it. You're worried. That was hard enough the first time. Well, that's not going to happen. Good. Even though... What? Well, uh, Puck... His name is actually Sam, as well. Uh, yeah, of course it is. Well, it's not my fault that all Sams are really cute. If you say so. We have different tastes, what can I say? I don't know. Receiving a transmission from one of our sponsors, we better listen in. Back in a flash. 125,000 podcasts trust ACAST to connect them with their audience. Your brand can speak to your perfect audience too by advertising with ACAST. We're home to the biggest names in podcasting, reaching millions of engaged listeners who can only be accessed through ACAST. From true crime to comedy, finance to fitness, your next customer's favorite podcast is an ACAST show. Your audience is already here. Speak to them with ACAST. Visit go.acast.com slash ads to get started today. We now return to Gold Rush. Oh my God. Would you look at that bacon? Ease up. You're going to burn yourself. I don't care. Oh. Ooh. Totally worth it. You are a moron. This looks delicious. Thank you. Uh, Rhonda? No, do not thank me. Anita cooks. Oh my god, this French toast is amazing. Thank you. You know, for sisters, you guys don't look alike. Yeah, we get that a lot. I look more like my other sister and she our brother, but they... Uh, they aren't with us. Oh, our first conversation doesn't need to be doom and gloom. Why don't you tell us a little about where you're from? You first. Uh, me? Yeah. We'll just, you know, go around the table. Uh, okay. Well, uh, let's see. I was originally from Boulder, was part of their civilian training program. Then I got moved to Fort Irwin when that ended. And before that? Uh, I was a manager at Blockbuster when I went to school. Hmm. <laughs> Blockbuster? How did we not know about that? Because I didn't tell you for obvious reasons. Oh shit, we've missed out on so many jokes. It's out now, my All friend. All right, calm down, what about you? Oh, me? Uh, well, I was, I was always enlisted, reserve. Muldoon and I were uh, part of a helicopter battalion. It's called Wolfpack. 
Yeah, I've known this giant pile of garbage forever now. You said you flew? Just helicopters? Gloria flies one too. Really? Like for fun? Only because I had to, for a role. But I enjoyed it. So I bought my own. That's how we got here. Oh, your chopper's still here? Mm, not so much. <sighs> Landing's hard. Yeah, well, you two have more in common than you think. Hey, you were lucky to get here. You, uh, you flew here from where? California, originally. LA, right? We were there on the last day. You know, you guys always back to the bad stuff. It is hard not to. It is why we are here, Gloria. And you? Me? Uh, I was army before. Uh, stationed at Fort Irwin, military police. Is that where you just came from? Oh, no. No, that place is long gone. <sighs> Figures. Figures how? Well, living on the surface is a losing battle. It doesn't have to be. You know any groups that have lasted? Exactly. And Boulder just made things worse. Who knows what they did? Somehow they got stronger. Yeah, it's crazy. You notice that? Rhonda and I don't go out anymore since then. Just Gloria. It's too dangerous. Wait, wait, never? We have everything we could ever need down here. You haven't told us your story. Well, um, when everyone tried to leave, I grabbed my sister and I went to her house. I knew Gloria was the only person who was going to be prepared. Well, I was about to lift off too. Nick of time. Fade again. Gloria and I hadn't met before then. And, and you were a... Uh... Actress. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nothing like Gloria, but I, I wanted to be. We met on set, and she was so nice. And what were you, Sunshine? An Emmy. A mechanical engineer. <laughs> I, knew, I knew that. That's fine. I just wasn't expecting that. Mm, I was not expecting to ever see someone eat bacon while the grease was still boiling, but here we are. Yes, here we are. You know what? I would gladly do it again. You got any more? You have no idea how much Rhonda comes in handy down here. Uh, yeah. In other words, please do not break anything, otherwise I gotta fix it. Um, are you finished? Uh, yeah, thanks. Yeah, that was like the best meal I've had in years. Well, you're welcome. Kinda glad we lost all our MREs. Plenty more where that came from. So, what do we do now? Well, I have chores to do. Chores? Place doesn't run itself. A lot of maintenance. Tend to the garden, feed the animals. Wait, 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 we just eat an animal? Oh, no. That was all frozen. We don't eat like this all the time and are not planning on eating our one pig. Besides, Porky takes care of the scraps. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Still gross outside. I'm sure you guys could, you know, amuse yourselves in here. We can help if you want. No, 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 no. You're our guests. Feel free to roam about. Oh, man. I'm dying to look around. Yeah, me too. I just didn't want to ask. What, uh, what animals you got? Oh, come with me. I was gonna feed them. You guys cool if I, uh... Yeah, man. We're fine Yeah, here. yeah, you can go wherever you want. But just remember, stop at the red doors. We're fine here. Just go. Are you guys sure that we should split up? Oh, God. It's fine, uh, Carl. Uh, yeah, come Carl. On. Come on. Okay, okay. All right, all right, fine. Come on. I'll uh, see you, boys. Eh, leave the dishes. I'll get them later. I just need to run a few checks on that air filter system. Okay, that's a good idea. Hey, uh, can we check out that set that you mentioned? Ooh, from Forgiven? Yes. <laughs> right this way, boys. The town doesn't happen to have a smoke deck or something, does it? Oh, no. But there's one on the way. And then I'll be right behind you. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, dang, you got a lot. Oh, hope you don't mind the smell. <laughs> I bump with Robins. I'm used to it. <laughs> Ooh, there's lots of eggs today. Uh, you, you know what this all reminds me of? Is it a video game? How did you know that? <laughs> That's what I first thought, too. We're little vault dwellers. I play a lot of games in our downtime. Pretty much 100% of everything I own. You? I mean, I play a little, but Robin, she's the Fallout guy. I tried once, but I wasn't very good at it. Well, uh, 
If you want to ever play anything else. Like, it never was Gloria Rhonda's thing. I've just been dying to have someone else to cart with. Yeah, I, mean, I could learn. I know Robbins would be down, too. Oh, that, that would be awesome. It's so great to have more people here. I, I bet. How long are you going to stay? Oh. Uh, you, you know, uh, we got to chat about it. We don't know. It's, it's been a crazy day. Yeah, I can imagine. Oh, wow, you got horses too? Mm -hmm. What for? Oh, Gloria loves them. Oh, this is great. This is great. I'll have to bring Robbins down here. Oh, seems kind of crappy though. Be locked up, never get ridden. Oh, no, no, no. Gloria takes them riding all the time. Oh, yeah, really? Where? Here, I'll show you. I'll get the saddles. Have you ever ridden one before? <laughs> no, I can't say that I have. Okay, well, this is Wiley. Oh, oh, wow. You are beautiful. Wow, look at you. A black beauty. She's really, really friendly. Here, give her a carrot. Oh, shit. I haven't had a carrot in a while. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Wiley, we're gonna share, okay? Oh. Oh, well, you got a problem with that? I'm sorry. You don't like it? Oh, you. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. She's greedy, huh? <laughs> here, come here. I don't know anything about all this. It's okay. I'll teach you. Oh, this is perfect. We could shoot the whole movie in here. And this, this spot is where you shot the sheriff, right? Right there. Oh, man, Robbins, the bank scene? Check out inside. It's all been restored. Oh. I'm coming too. Oh, God, the lighting in here is awesome. It's always sunset. Oh, that was fast. You found the smoke deck? Yeah, wasn't the problem, though. Crush my piece. It's totally shattered. Oh, you smoke. Yeah, I smoke. Smoke. Not cigarettes. <laughs> Follow me. Oh, no way. Whoa. Told you. Plenty of room for the horses. It's one of my favorite places down here. It looks really cool. But something's off. What is this? The tree. Yeah, it's all plastic. Fake. Has to be. Our UV lights are all used for the real farm. Yeah, it's like fluorescent in here. The color's off. And no breeze. And down here it all kind of smells the same after a while. It's pretty though. Of course, it's a set. But I do wish it was real. A while back, we used to take the horses riding topside. We have a stable on the surface. Some days, we'd just let them roam around free, and they'd come back to the barn on their own. Really? What about the infected? Well, this one time, Wiley here, she back kicked one in the chest. It just crumpled over and died. No, the horses could take care of themselves. After enough exposure, they got pretty used to the infected. But when the worst infected came, no one was allowed up. I think the horses would still be fine. And honestly, Rhonda and I would probably be fine too, but we stay down here. It's not worth the risk of going up there. At least that's what Gloria says. Maybe she's right. I, I mean, I mean, we do get to have all of this. It does feel safe down here. God, I can smell it from here. Why don't you choose something from my special stash? Your special stash? Holy hell. Oh my god, I've died and gone to green heaven. How do you take care of so many plants? Mostly automatic, like everything around here. Just have to plant and harvest. What a harvest. Dang. So much. 
Okay, so this indica is tested at 36%, specially grounded with lightly sprinkled keef on top. Now this piece, it's very special to me. It filters the greens through the multi-chambered ash catcher, three sets of honeycomb glass nets, and lastly cooled by three sphere ice cubes. Perfectly fit for the chamber. This is Bertha, and she's very pleased to meet you. I finally have someone to share her with. Oh, hi, Bertha. I have a feeling my lips are gonna be against you all night. Choke away. She's all yours. This is perfect. We could totally set up the town scene here. This is a legit set. Can you imagine what we could do in this place? I mean, all of the Atlas. There's no way the colony can compare with this place. Oh man, this is the best place ever. <laughs> Follow me, keep up. Oh, what? this is the best place ever. We might have a breach. That's totally fucking up my shot. I was recording. What is that? Come on. We need to put the horses away. Uh, what's happening? <sighs> That's just our warning signal. And you're not worried? No. Everyone get to the control room. Follow the map. It's about time. I'm here. Where is it? It's the access tunnel from Hackberry. Oh, shit. It looks like I didn't fix the vents. I found the room. What? Wow, you two didn't waste any time. <laughs> uh, what? Get everyone to a defense hole. Now you're working. Only a little. Here you are. What the hell is that? Where's everyone else? Looks like Anita and Puck are dealing with the horses still. Follow me. The weapons room. Oh, now we're talking. Wait up. Did you want me to? Yeah, yeah, stick with me. Anita, meet at the Hackberry Tunnel entrance. Grab something you know. Holy shit. Look at that. It's a Desert Eagle. A gold one. Damn. Yeah, it was Saddam's. Just leave it. Come on. Well, what if I want that one? You are not that impractical. All right, you're right. Now, hurry up. What'd you get? M16. Boring. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Vanelli shotgun, automatic. Shit. You wanna trade? Too late now, bitch. Ugh, oh, Anita, good, you're here. I don't know the code. You both all right? Yeah, we're good. I'm just going along for the ride. You need help? Is everyone okay? They're not inside. Everyone's fine. Why do you smell like horse shit? Why do you smell like, and look like? No, you did it. Shut it. Oh. Day one, we're already going past the red door, huh? Lucky you. This is not a coincidence. The infected followed us back. Seriously, they followed us? Got the guns. Where do you need us? Sorry, it took so long. Didn't have a choice. Don't worry. <clears throat> I'm here too. Mm -hmm. Robbins will be the first person to possibly die before an infected attack. How were you in the army again? Oh, shut up. Here they come. Get to the firing holes. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. Would you answer a call for a reality TV show if you weren't allowed to ask what the show was about? If you want to be on the show, stop asking that question and get on with the auditions. And I said, well, obviously I can't do that. I might be selling you my kidney. I don't know what it is. But in return, they promised you the adventure of a lifetime. I didn't want something horrible to happen to me. I didn't want to die. <laughs> That's basically what I was thinking. I didn't want to die. Split Screen Thrill Seekers is a new six-part series from Love and Radio, Vespucci, and CBC. Listen now. 
ACAST helps creators launch, grow, and monetize their podcasts everywhere. ACAST.com. We're alive. Gold Rush will return next week. Written, directed, and produced by K.C. Wayland. Starring Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira, Austin Trace, Christy Carlson Romano, Brenna Otts, Aaron Breen. Additional voices by Chase Hooper and me, I'm Michael Swan. Produced by Brett Newton, Tony Reyes, Sean Lewin, Christian Vieira. Associate producers, Shanti Ryan, Lauren Kroon, Blair Whalen. Casting by David Seiden, Vanessa Knight. Original music by Danny Burkhoff Hopkins. Supervising sound designer, Casey Whalen. Sound designers, Michael Keane, Brian Lincoln. For more info about the show and a complete list of cast and crew, visit us at www.we'realive.com. We'd like to thank the entire team at Podcast One. As the leading podcast network, they have made it possible to bring this series to life for you. And they have more than 200 of today's best podcasts easily accessible on the free Podcast One app. This has been a Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Dedicated to Nick. In the next chapter of We're Alive, as much as we've come to depend on our defenses, I'd rather not have to use them. Now, where were we? <laughs> Are you sure this is legal? <laughs> You're gonna be fine. You're just standing there holding it. Just don't drop it. The wire is live. What, does it have to be live? Don't let go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you wanna see me in uniform one day? Maybe. We still want... got it around. Oh, yeah. I think he's in permanent butthurt. Like all the time, it never goes away? No, it never goes away. Maybe we get some medication for that. He's got a master's in butthurt. <laughs> he went to school for it.